after one period here at the War Memorial at On Center. Once again, Bob McElligot along with Keith Koblen here tonight. We're joined by crutch forward Philippe Dupuis right now. And first of all, Philippe, before we talk about tonight's game, you played a big game on Sunday. It was at the Bell Center in Montreal. You grew up in the Montreal area. A big fan of the Montreal Canadiens. Your team won in that building 3-2 to two on Sunday over the Hamilton Bulldogs. How much did that whole experience mean to you? Uh, I think it was really, uh, it was awesome. I think uh, we don't have the chance to play in uh, Montreal in the AHL, and I think uh, it was a good opportunity for me and uh, LaBelle to play in our hometown, and it was uh, it was a really good experience. It was uh, a lot of emotion, too, and then uh, the fact that we won the game is uh, was pretty awesome, too. Well, not only that, you win the game, which is great because you get two points, and then as a reward, your coach gave you two days off, and you and Olivier LaBelle got to spend some time back at home, which is uh, something that usually doesn't happen at this time of the year, and I'm sure you appreciated that. Yeah, it's uh, really nice. I think we got uh, a month left until uh, the end of the season. I think it's nice to go home and uh, have a little rest, uh, recharge your battery, and then uh, see the family a little bit, uh, take care of them, and then uh, go back to work on, uh, like, last Wednesday. So it was... Uh, it was nice to see the family, but now uh, we're back in the game, and then uh, we've got to win some, game, some games now. Yeah, Philippe, as far as this game's concerned tonight, we were talking about it before we uh, had a chance to go back on the air here. Uh, Toronto sending a couple of guys into the zone tonight. How do you break that? First of all, you know, what, what do you think about them doing that, and how do you, how do you break that? Um, I think their defensemen are pinching uh, a lot of wingers, so I think we just have to be maybe a little bit lower because uh, if we're too high, they're right on us already. We don't have time to make any plays, so... Uh, uh, we got to move the puck quicker and be uh, and be lower. That's the that's the key for the second. You haven't seen this team since January the second, and even though by late in the year nobody throws you uh, any surprises, is it a surprise that maybe it takes one period to get uh, you know reacquainted with the Toronto Marlies, figure out what they're doing, and now in between periods find a way to counter it? Yeah, I think it's a whole new team. Uh, there's a lot of guys we uh, we haven't seen uh, uh, two months ago, and then uh, they're pretty good right now. They're a lot of speed, a lot of skills team right now, and then. Uh, we just need to adjust, like you said, that it's a, it's a new team, and then uh, we, we need to be sharp. I don't think we, we start very well right now, and then we did some good stuff, but uh, we play we can play a lot better than that. Maybe those two days off were bad, not good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they were. Yeah, they might, might have been bad, but I think uh, there's two periods left, so we might be back on track soon. All right, yeah, you got 40 minutes to do it. Thank you, Philippe. Congratulations on a great year this year. Thanks, Bobby. That is Philippe Dupuis of the Syracuse Crunch. When we come back, I'll chat with the head coach of the Syracuse Crunch. Ross Yates joins me right here on the Syracuse Crunch Hockey Network.